dear students welcome to this program in previous class we studied about the linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variable also we discussed about what is solution what what do mean by to solve an equation also we studied the general form of the linear equation in two variable and how to prepare or how to form an equation for a given situation today we are going to study about linear equation in two variables in which solutions solution of linear equations in two variable so we have to find the solution of linear equation in two variables what do you mean by solution for the value of the variable for which the uh, algebraic statement is satisfied is known as the solution of the equation let's revisit the solution of linear equations in one variable consider the equation in one variable has one and only one solution we can see from this example that is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 here the solution is x is equal to 3 by 2 that means if we put the value of x as 3 by 2 then the result will be 0 that means can we get any other value of x for which 2x minus 3 will be 0 if we try then we'll see that no other value of x will satisfy the equation 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 so in this case the solution is said to be unique now how many solutions are possible for an equation in two variables as we know the general form of the equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero that is linear equation in two variables so let's see an example and a situation in which we'll have to form an equation in a one day international cricket match between india and england played in kotak two indian batsmen together scored 206 runs express this information in the form of an equation this is give, this was also given in last class for today let's see how to form the equation we don't know which player has scored how many runs so let player 1 scored x runs and player 2 scored y runs then what is the sum the sum is x plus y now here the sum is given as 206 so we can equate these two expressions to form an equation so the equation is x plus y is equal to 206 for different values or pair of values of x and y we can get sum of uh, them is 206 let's see possible scores of two batsmen are 56 and 150 because sum of these two is 206 so we can say that in this case 56 150 in bracket that is the solution of the equation x plus y is equal to 206 can we take any other value of x and y let's see 
if we take the value of x as 106, then what will add it to 106 to give 206? That is 100. So, the solution can be 106 and 100. That means for the value of x 106 and value of y is 100. Now, what about if the value of x is 100, then definitely the value of y will be 106, so that the sum is 206. So, here the solution can be written as 100 and 106. Carefully see the representation of the solutions 56, 150, 106, 100, 100 and 106. In for uh, the last two cases, the we can we have uh, the values just position is changed, and that value also satisfy the equation. Is it true for every equation? Let's see an example. Let's find the solutions of equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 20. If we put the value of x as 1, what will be the value of y? Here it is written y is equal to 6. Let's examine. 2x plus 3y is equal to 20. If we put the value of x as 1, so what do we get? 2 into 1 plus 3y is equal to 20. This gives 2 plus 3y is equal to 20. Now, 3y is equal to 20 minus 2, that is 18. So, 3y is equal to 18 is an equation in one variable. And we will get a unique solution for y, that is y is equal to 18 by 3, that is 6. So, value of x is 1 and value of y is 6 that satisfy this equation. We can see, say that the solution is 1, 6. Let's try for another value of x, that is x is equal to 4. Similarly, if we put the value of x as 4, the value of 2x is 8. So, 3y will become 20 minus 8. 20 minus 8. So, this will become 8 plus 3y is equal to 20 and 3y is equal to 20 minus 8, that is 12. So, the value of y will be 12 by 3, that is 4. That means, if we put the solution is here, the solution is 4, 4. Now, if we interchange the value of uh, these uh, variables, that is in place of x, if we put 6, will we get the value of y as 1 to satisfy this equation? Let us see. x is equal to 6, that gives 2 into 6, 12. And 12 plus 3y is not, uh, will give, if we put the value of y as 1, then it gives 2x plus 3y is equal to 15 which is not equal to 20. That means, here the solu solution is not 6, 1 or 6, 1 is not a solution of this equation. So, from this we learned that the equation in two variable has infinitely many solutions, but for each value of x there exists one and only one value of y that satisfies the equation. Because by substituting the value of x, we get an equation in one variable. And previously, 
we learned that the solution of a linear equation in one variable is unique. So, for any value of x, we will have one and only one value of y that satisfy this equation. And the solution of 2x plus 3y is equal to 20r 1 6 4 4 and here another solution is also given you can verify if we put the value of x as 7 the first term becomes 14 and if we put the value of y as 2 then second term becomes 6 so 14 plus 6 gives 20 so 7 2 is also another solution in each case the first number represents the value of x and the second number represents the value of y. So, such notation is called ordered pair. Why ordered pair? Because the first always represents x and second number always represents the value of y. If we reverse the values or change the order, then the pair may not be a solution of the equation as we saw in the previous equation. Now, let us do some uh, sums, find four solutions of equation 2x plus y is equal to 7. 2x plus y is equal to 7. It is not necessary that we will get the solution in integer only. We can put the value of x, say if we put the value of x as 1, then we have 2 into 1 plus y is equal to 7. This gives 2 plus y is equal to 7 and y is equal to 7 minus 2 that is 5. So, our solution, one of our solution is, I can write here, that is 1 and 5. Let us try with another value of x. Let the value of x is 0. If we put the value of x as 0, then we have 2 into 0 plus y is equal to 7. This gives 2 into 0 is 0, 0 and y is equal to 7. So, the solution is 0 and value of y is 7. Okay? Then, we have to find another. If we put the value of x as say minus 5. Then what will be the result? 2 into minus 5 plus y is equal to 7. So, 2 into minus 5 gives minus 10 plus y is equal to 7. So, y is equal to 7 minus 10 comes to right side with plus 10. So, that gives 17. So, another solution is minus 5 and 17. Now, we have to find fourth one. You can put any value here as we discuss. We can put the value of x as our choice. This can be say minus 2. If we put the value of x as minus 2, then what happens? Then 2 into minus 2 plus y gives 7, that is minus 4 plus y is equal to 7, that gives y is equal to 7, minus 4 comes to right side to become plus 4, and this is 11. So, our fourth solution can be 
minus 2 11. You see, if a equation is given, we can find the solution by taking any value of x and to find the corresponding value of y. Let us see another example. Find two solutions of equation 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. Here another equation, the equation is 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. So, if we put the value of ax as 0, this is simplest way or simplest solution by taking one of the variable as 0. This gives 3 into 0 plus 4y is equal to 12. So, 3 into 0 is 0. So, now 4y is equal to 12 and y is equal to 12 by 4 that is 3. Now, the solution is here value of x is 0 and the corresponding value of y is 3. So, this is the solution. Now, take another uh, uh, value of x say minus 3. If we put the value of x as minus 3, what happens? Let us see. 3 into minus 3 plus 4y is equal to 12. This is minus 9. 3 into minus 3 gives minus 9 plus 4y is equal to 12. So, 4y is 12. Minus 9 comes to right side this becomes plus 9 and this is 21. So, y is 21 by 4. So, our solution is value of x is minus 3 and value of y is 21 by 4. So, here by putting the value of x we can have any value of y, it can be of any form, not only an integer, it can be of any form, rational form. So, these are the two solutions of the given equation. Let us see another equation. Find two solutions of equation 2x plus 5y is equal to 0. Here the type of equation is something different from previous two. Here 2x plus 5y is equal to 0. The value of x and y we have to find, but here c part is 0. The, if we put the value of x as 0, then what, what happens c? 2 into 0 plus 5y is equal to 0. 2 into 0 gives 0. So, 5y becomes 0. That means, y is 0 by 5, that is, say, 0. So, the solution of this equation is 0 and 0. Value of x is 0 and y is 0. Such solution is called trivial solution for this type of equation. Now, if we put the value of x, say any, let us try with some negative number, minus 2, then what is the result? What is the value of y for which this is satisfied? 2 into minus 2 plus 5y is equal to 0. So, 2 into minus 2 gives minus 4 plus 5y is equal to 0. So, 5y is equal to minus 4 comes to right side gives 4 and what is y? y is 4 by 5. 
That means if we put the value of x as minus 2, we get the value of y as 4 by 5. So if we put the value, these values of x and y, that is minus 2 and 4 by 5, that satisfies this equation. You can verify it. So these are the two solutions of the given equation. Let's find another equation. Here, something different type of equation. 3 plus 4y is equal to 0. If it is 3 plus 4y, then this is 3 plus 4y is equal to 0. Here, this is an equation in one variable. Now, to find its uh, solution as a equation of two variable, let's uh, write like this: uh, zero into x plus four into y plus three is equal to zero. We can rewrite this equation in this form. Okay, so if we put the value, any value of x, say x equal to 5. If we put the value of x as 5, then what happens? We get 0 into 5 plus 4 into y plus 3 is equal to 0. This gives 4y is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to minus 3 by 4. So, by expressing this equation as an equation, linear equation in two variables, we have also solution like this, 5 minus 3 by 4. Let's try with another value of x. If we put the value of x as, say, minus 1, then what happens? 0 into minus 1 plus 4y plus 3 equal to 0. This gives 0 plus 4y plus 3 equal to 0. That means 4y plus 3 equal to 0 or 4y is equal to minus 3. That gives y is equal to minus 3 by 4. Then what will be the solution here? Solution of this equation has two variables, uh, linear equation in two variables. The solution is like this, minus 1 and minus 3 by 4. So you see, in this case, whatever be the value of x, the value of y always remains the same. That is, minus 3 by 4. This is the beauty of this uh, equation as linear equation in two variables. Let's see another question. Which of the other pair is a solution of equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 15? If this is the question, so how to start it? We have to put the values of x in left side and verify whether it is true uh, for right side or not. First, write the equation that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. First solution is given 0, 5. So, in left hand side, substitute 2 into 0 plus 3 into 5. Now see 2 into 0 gives 0 plus 3 into 5 gives 15. So this gives 15. This is in right side. So this value, this values of x and y is that is 0, 5 that represents the solution of this equation. Now let's try with 
So first we write here 0, 5 is the pair of solution. Now try with 4, 2. 2 into write 4, 2. So 2 into 4 plus 3 into 2. 2 into 4 gives 8. 3 into 2 gives 6. That is 14 which is not equal to 15. So 4, 2 is not a solution. Then try with 3, 3. 3, 3. So 2 into 3 plus 3 into 3 that gives 6 plus 9 which is 15. In right side we have 15. So this is, this is satisfied. So 3, 3 is a solution of this given equation. Then try with 7, 1 by 3. 7, 1 by 3. Here, see, this is rational number. So, 2 into 7 plus 3 into, in place of y, we can write 1 by 3. This gives 2 into 7, 14, plus 3, 3 cancelled, that is 1. So, 14 plus 1 is 15. So, this is satisfied by, the equation is satisfied by, by this solution 7, 1 by 3. So, this is a solution to the given equation. And last one is 15, 0. Let's try with 15 and 0. 15, 0. So, 2 into 15 plus 3 into 0. That gives 30 plus 0. So, the result is 30 which is not equal to 15. So, 15, 0 is not a solution of this equation. Okay? Then, next, next question is, if 1 by 2, 2, this order pair is a solution of 2x plus 5y is equal to k, find the value of k. Here, a condition is given. The equation is not complete, but solution is given. We have to find the unknown coefficient that is k. So the equation is 2x plus 5y is equal to k. We have to find the value of k where solution is solution is 1 by 2 and 2. That means value of x is 1 by 2 and value of y is 2. Put the value of x in this equation 2 into 1 by 2 plus 5 into 2 that is k. From this we get 2 by 2 cancel that is 1 plus 5 into 2 here it is 10 that is k. This gives the value of k as 11. That means if 1 by 2, 2 is a solution of 2x plus 5y is equal to k, then the value of k is 11. Let's find this uh, and this, let's solve another equation. This question is find the value of k if 0, 2 is a solution of the equation 3x plus ky is equal to 8. Here, the unknown coefficient, position of unknown coefficient is different. 3x plus ky is equal to 8. This is the equation. What is the solution? The solution is solution is 0, 2. That means the value of x is 0 and value of y is 2. So here we can put 
थ्री इंटू जीरो प्लस के इंटू टू दैट इज एट दिस गिवस जीरो प्लस टू के इज इक्वल टू एट एंड के इज इक्वल टू एट बाई टू दैट इज फोर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ के दैट इज फॉर द सोल्यूशन जीरो टू टू दिस इक्वेशन द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज फोर सो वट विल बी द इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन इज लाइक दिस थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू एट दिस इज द इक्वेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी स्टडी अबाउट the solution of linear equation in two variables we find that in equation in one variable the solution is unique however in case of linear equation in two variables we have infinitely many solutions and for each value of x we have one and only one value of y that satisfies this equation and thus we get various though we get various solutions but for specific value of x we have specific value of y so we can find the solutions different solutions by putting the value of x in the equation or if the value of y is known we can also find the corresponding value of x so that we get the various solution of the equation dear students this is the end of the lesson today thank you